Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So if you saw Tuesday's video, you would have known that I have been under the weather. I was so sick on Monday and Tuesday that I couldn't even film. Usually if I have like colds and things, I'll try to just push through. But this time I was like out. I had a fever for a couple days and I could not get a hang of it. The hang of it? Okay, my brain is a little bit fried. <laughs> so I'm sorry if I'm talking kind of funny. My throat is honestly still really swollen and I feel kind of sore in the throat still, but I'm feeling much better in every other way. So I feel well enough to kind of sit down and film for you guys. Also, thank you guys so much for the love on Tuesday's video. My husband stepped in for me. If you didn't see that video, I will link it down below. He's the best. I am so lucky and I'm so grateful that he was able to film a video for me since I have been a little sick. So for today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a one brand tutorial using Bare Minerals. Now I've done this on my channel before. If you've been with me for a while, you would have known this, but some of you may have noticed it is no longer on my channel. That's just because there was some copyright issues with a title of one of the products that I used and I was asked to take it down. So I had to get rid of it, but I loved that video and I know a lot of you guys did too. So I thought I would film another one and just post another one. This time around though, I'm going to be doing just an everyday makeup look just because I feel like when it comes to Bare Minerals and that brand, I think natural, I think everyday. Of course, I love to make glam looks and I can definitely do that in the future. And I actually filmed this one brand tutorial once before last week. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would know that the audio kind of got messed up. So I am refilming it, but I'm actually kind of doing a completely different look. The one that I filmed before was kind of more for like work and more for office. It was a little bit more like dressed up, I guess you could say, but I'm kind of feeling like doing something more everyday today. So that's what I'm gonna do. If you guys would still like to see a makeup look that's more geared toward work and maybe like a job interview, let me know in the comments below. I can definitely recreate that exact look if you want to see it. Um, I feel like I've been talking a lot <laughs> and so let's just get right into this video. For my brows, I use the Brow Master Brow Gel in the shade Universal Taupe. Um, it's not my favorite brow product of all time. I feel like it does work. It's a little bit waxy and it's hard for me to create like hair like strokes with it. So, you know, it's not my favorite, but since we're doing a one brand at Bare Minerals tutorial, I thought I would use it. We're just gonna go straight into complexion today. I'm debating on two things. Either we use a primer or we use Complexion Rescue as our primer. Mm, let's just use, we're gonna use Complexion Rescue. So I'm gonna take a bit of this. The shade I have is Vanilla 02. I'm just taking like a pea size amount. Mm, that's a pretty hefty pea. Okay, <laughs> but I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over my skin. I already have my skincare on, so like my face is pretty hydrated, but this Complexion Rescue product is one of my favorite hydrating, I said that weird. <laughs> it's one of my favorite hydrating products. Bear with me, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. I seriously, ooh, my brain needs to, uh, function a little better than it is right now. So as you can see, that didn't really do too much. It gave a little bit of coverage, but I mainly personally like to use Complexion Rescue either on days where I'm like traveling or going to the beach or something and I want a little bit of coverage or I use it underneath the original foundation, which is what I'm gonna do today. So I'm gonna do a couple steps a little bit backwards since we are using a powder foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. I have the shade Fair and I'm gonna be using this under Underneath my eyes. I absolutely love this concealer. It is so beautiful. It's especially good for like every day. So where's my sponge? I'm just gonna put a little bit of that under the eyes and go ahead and blend it out underneath my eyes with my sponge. So after I blend out the under eye area, I like to take what's left on the sponge and kind of just pat this on the eyelid to cancel out any veins or discoloration. I honestly forgot how much I love this concealer. <laughs> It's so good. So next I'm gonna be using the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Concealer. This is incredible for blemishes. I love this. I'm gonna be using the shade Fair Light Warm 02 and I'm gonna kind of just add some coverage onto the areas that I know I'm gonna need coverage. The powder foundation I'm gonna use, you can kind of build up coverage if you want. I think I have a mosquito bite on my neck. <laughs> but anyway, with the powder foundation, you can really kind of build up coverage. Oh, wonderful, I look kind of crazy right now. Since I do have some pretty hefty scars and blemishes, I'm just gonna go ahead and tackle some of the coverage already with a cream product first. I know that's usually kind of like backwards than what I normally do since I normally use a liquid foundation and then I like to put concealer on top of that. Today we're kind of mixing it up. So I'm just gonna press that into the skin with the same sponge. I'm really sorry about my voice, you guys. I know I sound raspy, but uh, I'm doing my best, okay? <laughs> 
If you don't have too many blemishes, you could totally skip that step, but you guys know with me and my problem skin, we usually have to add a couple extra steps. Oh, what was I gonna do next? Um, I'm actually gonna set the under eyes slightly with this right here. What is this even called? Translucent Powder Duo. There's a matte side and a glow side, and I'm gonna take the matte side on a brush and just kind of press that underneath the eye area. I'm kind of focusing it like really close to the eye and then blending the excess down where we applied the under eye concealer. And I'm also gonna put a tiny bit on the eyelid just to set that a little bit. So now I have my Bare Minerals Original Foundation and I actually was just recently sent this by Bare Minerals. It is their beautiful finish brush. I've never used this, but I know it's designed for the original foundation, so we're going to go ahead and use it. I'm gonna dip the brush into the cap. It fits perfectly into the cap, by the way. Tap off the extra, and this is where we're gonna start building coverage all over the complexion. I'm buffing it really lightly at first, just to kind of get the powder down initially over the cream products. And I'm going lightly so that we don't move too much of the cream products underneath around. So I buffed what was in the lid all over my skin. I'm just gonna kind of keep doing that until I get the coverage that I want. You guys know I love a good full coverage. And the great thing about this powder, if you've ever tried it, I'm sure you know, somehow it doesn't ever look powdery or cakey. Even though you can like build it up to a full coverage, it still looks so natural. Oh, I never told you what shade I am in this. I am currently using the shade N10, fairly light. Don't you love the finish of this though? Like, yeah, it's a powder, but it like leaves my skin looking so luminous. They do have a matte formula, but the original has a subtle luminosity to it, which I personally really, really like. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set that with the Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil. Whoa! Oops, I accidentally like dumped that everywhere. I'm gonna use the Supreme Finisher Brush to just kind of lock in the powder foundation and also get rid of any like tackiness because we are going to be applying more powder products on top. I know they have different kinds of setting powders. This one isn't like my favorite setting powder of all time. I feel like it does work well with the Bare Minerals original foundation, um, but it kind of like leaves my face feeling a little bit chalky mm. and it seemed to kind of remove some of the foundation on my nose, okay? Yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you guys like um, any of the mineral veils from Bare Minerals. Because again, I know they have a couple different kinds. I'm gonna try to buff over that with a little bit more of the original foundation. This is a different brush because for some reason, adding the mineral veil kind of took up a little bit of coverage. I don't really know. Now let's move to the eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using their new Gen Nude Neutral Eyeshadow Palette. They came out with a few of these and I've been testing them out over the past few weeks, I guess, couple weeks. And to be honest, they were kind of hard for me to figure out. I feel like they're super buttery, so they swatch amazingly, but because they are so buttery, like they took me a minute to kind of figure out how to blend them out on my eyes, if that makes sense. I figured out that less is more with these. A little bit goes a very long way. So I'm gonna start off with the shade Mystic in the neutral eyeshadow palette. This one's so good for every day though. And we are going to kind of use that as a base. So I'm just taking a tiny bit, tapping off the extra and going back and forth in a windshield wiper motion just to kind of like put down some initial color. Then we're gonna go into Sandstone, which is a shade I absolutely love. I'm actually using the same exact brush. <laughs> I don't know. I just am kind of lazy right now. And I feel like when you're getting ready, you know, on an everyday basis, you really don't have time to like think too hard about how many brushes you're using and things like that. So if there's a brush you can reuse, I say reuse it. I'm probably going against a lot of makeup rules right now, but uh, that's just how I am sometimes. So this is what we're using as our transition shade. It's so, so beautiful. Starting out with it in the crease though, and then as I feel like the brush gets less product, I kind of move up. But again, a little bit goes a really, really long way. So I've learned to kind of just use a tiny bit and then just like spread it out until I feel like I need a little bit more. Otherwise, it's easy to kind of end up looking muddy with the eyeshadow. So we don't want that. We're trying to avoid that. So just work in little layers. While we have that shade on that same brush, I'm gonna take that and just pinch the brush and apply this to the lower lash line. I personally love eyeshadow on the lower lash line, even on an everyday basis. Even if it's just subtle like that it just really opens up the eyes and makes a huge difference once mascara is on i love it so i'm just gonna add some to the lower lash line next i'm gonna go into this really pretty taupey brown shade called native 
And I am using a different brush for this, tapping off the extra, and we're gonna start buffing this into the outer third of the eye. Just for a little bit of definition there, I'm gonna take what's left on the brush and run it under the outer third of the lower lash line as well. Same thing on this eye. So next I'm gonna take this shimmery shade called Believer on a more flat brush, and this is gonna be our lid color. If you don't want to put shimmer on the eyes for an everyday look, you could totally skip this and just go straight into mascara, but I feel like a little bit of shimmer on the eyes is really nice for every day. If I'm running late though, I will literally just put bronzer on my eyelids and then put mascara on and call it a day. This is a tutorial for, you know, if you wake up at the right time and you have a few extra minutes to spare, you can do a little pretty eyeshadow look, you know? Taking that same brush that we used in the outer third without any extra product on it, and I'm just making sure that there's still some definition on that outer third. So now I'm gonna go in with the Bare Minerals Love Every Lash Micro Defining Mascara. This is actually a newer mascara to them as well. It was sent to me pretty recently, and I actually really like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to the top and bottom lashes really quick. I really like the separation and length that that mascara gives. Let's warm up the complexion. This is my favorite part. Where's my bronze? Ah. This is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze Bronzer. I love this stuff so much. I've really, really made a dent in this. I'm just gonna go ahead and warm up the complexion with this bronzer. I like this because it's really foolproof, like you really can't go wrong. It builds up so beautifully and blends over top of the powder foundation especially so beautifully. So I like to add it to the hairline, along the jawline, and down the neck, and of course under the cheekbones and around the temples. I also like to take some of that powder and just run it down the sides of my nose to define it and then underneath a little bit and under my lip. Then I'm actually gonna take the brush that I used um, foundation with second. This is the different brush. And I'm just gonna lightly dust over the bronzer to make sure it's nice and blended into my skin. And then for blush, I have literally seven of their blushes right here in front of me because I didn't know which one I wanted. You guys know how much I love blush, so you know, had to come prepared. I'm wondering if I should just do like something really muted and nude or we could do something pink or peach. Mm, I'm gonna start with this one. This is one of my favorites actually. This is the Gen Nude Powder Blush in the shade Beige for Days. This is like kind of uh, kind of looks like a boring color in the pan, but once you apply it to your cheeks, it is so beautiful. So let's find a blush brush. I'm just gonna take some of that and just press it onto the apples of the cheeks and then pull it back toward my temples as well. Once you apply it though, you can kind of see the peachy undertone that it has. It's beautiful, I love it. And if you're someone who's kind of afraid of blush or you think that blush makes you look like a clown, then something like this might be really nice for you for every day because I definitely think blush makes a difference, but if you're afraid of too much color on your cheeks, go with something a little more muted, you know? I'm gonna kind of pat it across the nose as well. And with what's left, I'm gonna put it along the forehead too, and the chin. <laughs> so for highlight, we're gonna use the Bare Minerals Invisible Glow Highlight. This is in the shade Fair to Light. And it's kind of got like a baked formula. It's the same kind of formula as the um, bronzer. Kind of honestly feels a little bit dusty. <laughs> But again, such a beautiful buildable highlight. I love this as well. I use this all the time, but you do kind of have to build it up, which I'm not mad about. I don't care if I have to build up a highlight because for me, I would rather build it up and make it look really natural than have it look like a glittery mess on accident right away. So I'm just adding that down the center of the nose. Cupid's bow, but it's so pretty, isn't it? I'm gonna take some and just use that same brush and kind of dust it underneath the brow bone and then a little bit above the brows right here. Okay, um, I'm gonna take that same highlight and just use this in the inner corners of the eyes. Since the eyeshadow palette we used didn't really have too much of an inner corner highlight shade, just use your actual highlight. Works just as well. So again, that brow product I use isn't my favorite of all time. Kind of seemed to like wear off a little bit, but uh, that's okay. Might have to use a brow gel in a second, which would not be Bare Minerals because I don't think they have a brow gel. You know what? They should make like a huge range of brow products. I would love to see that from Bare Minerals. That'd be awesome. Like brow gels, brow pencils, brow pomades, and like a ton of different colors. I actually really hope they do that someday. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe off any foundation that got on my lips. And let's go in with lip liner. This is actually one of my favorite lip liner formulas. It's their Gen Nude Under Over Lip Liners. I'm gonna be using the shade Borderline today. Such a pretty nude. 
So I'm gonna actually line and fill in the lips with this. And I'm kind of overlining my lips just a little bit at the very top and right at the bottom. Honestly, that shade is so good. You could totally just wear it like this if you wanted to, but I have a lot of fun lip products I wanted to use. I'm gonna be using the Bare Minerals Gen Nude. I think this is just called like their lipstick in the shade Honey Bun. I'm gonna go ahead and put this right on top. And for me right now, this is such a great everyday kind of product because I'm into just like the classic lipstick formulas. Something that's gonna be hydrating, something I can take with me and reapply. So that's why I chose this one for today. So pretty and it kind of leaves a really nice shine. Okay, these brows need help. I might cheat a little bit and bring in another brow pencil just to kind of help fix the gaps. This is from Benefit. Okay, and I'm dying to use this. This is not Bare Minerals, but they don't have a brow gel. So I'm gonna be using the Glossier Boy Brow in the shade Brown. I finally picked up the shade Brown and we're gonna try it today. So let's do it. Ooh, yes. Ooh, I like that. So now we just step back and assess the situation. I actually kind of want to put some of that blush right into the crease of my eye, just to add some of that like beigey peachiness to my eyeshadow as well. A little underneath the eye. I'm gonna be extra. I'm gonna be extra with my blush, people. I'm so sorry, but I have to layer Bellini brunch on top. I just want something a little bit more bright, like right on the apples of my cheeks to layer over that. So of course, this is not super necessary, but you know me and my blush. <laughs> I absolutely love good blush. And I think that kind of ties the whole look together. Okay, I'm adding a little more bronzer too. What's new? <laughs> All right, you guys, so there you have it. There's my everyday Bare Minerals makeup look. I absolutely love how this turned out. And You'll notice that my skin looks really radiant and I didn't set it with any setting spray. Then it's all powders pretty much except for the Complexion Rescue that we used underneath. So it's pretty impressive that powders can make your skin look so radiant. I'm actually not gonna bother setting it with a setting spray today just because I find with this foundation, as the day goes on and as my skin kind of naturally gets a little more oily, it actually looks really nice with the powder. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Sometime though I should try it with my three step set that I've been doing and see like how that works with a powder foundation. I'll have to write that down so I can try it. That's everything you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below if you guys like one brand tutorials and if there's another brand that you would like to see me create a tutorial with. Also let me know what your favorite Bare Minerals products are. If I didn't mention them, let me know what you guys love so that I can try it out. And if you guys wanna see like a more glam look with Bare Minerals, I do have a lot of options for that. So if you guys wanna see more using Bare Minerals, let me know. Thank you for enduring my voice today. I'm so sorry. <laughs> my throat is killing me and I'm so sorry if my voice like annoyed you at all. Hopefully I will be recovering soon. Hopefully by Saturday we will be a-okay. If you guys haven't joined the family yet, please do so by hitting the subscribe button. I would love to have you on board. And if you already subscribed but you want to be notified every time I upload, just click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll be notified every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday when I post. So thanks again, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so, so much. Thanks again for all your love on my last video or on Tylan's last video. My husband, I'm so grateful again that he filled in for me and you guys have been so sweet. So thank you so much for that as well. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!